What's up, YouTube? Once again, this is FM. I'm making this video here now because I am about to make another video pretty soon in which I announce the winner of my new subscribers contest. And if you don't know what that contest was all about, you can go and check the previous video, the new subscribers contest. It is in the title of the video. And there aren't a ton of videos on my channel, so that's pretty easy to find. But anyway, I just want to go ahead and share some thoughts about the weekend I just had. I went on a pop hunt in another town, a really more of a city that's about two hours away. And I even stayed the night there and everything because I had been told that there were some stores I should check out that would have some, a good pop selection, basically. And unfortunately, I did see plenty of pops, but they were mostly commons, really nothing too special. And I may have picked up some commons if it wasn't for the fact that these stores didn't even have any sort of deals going on like you might find at, say, FYE. Okay, there were really no good deals going on, so it just wasn't worth the time to bring much back. But I did manage to bring back one figure that, and as a matter of fact, I said it in, I believe, my last Pop Focus video that I was hope, hoping that I would find this particular figure, and I did. The black and white suit Punisher. So maybe it was fate that I did take the time and effort to go and make that trip. And the funny thing is, too, that I only paid, well, I'm just going to say it this way. I got a good deal. I paid basically $4 out of pocket, and then I was able to trade in some old comics. I consider that a pretty good deal because those comics had just been sitting around. It's not like I was going to go back and reread them. And I don't think I would have got much more off of them anywhere else. So I consider that a pretty good deal. Only about $4 out of pocket and trading in those old comics. And that's how I got my black and white suit Punisher. On the way to the town, I did pick up another figure. And that was here, Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. Which is probably the only figure from G.I. Joe that I'll get really... I'm not a huge G.I. Joe fan. Even as a kid, I wasn't a huge fan. So I do like the character design of Snake Eyes, though. But I'm just not too worried about getting any, any of the other figures. Now, I did decide to pick up one other thing. And this was on my way back. Because like I said, my time in Columbia, that's where I was in Columbia, South Carolina. I live in South Carolina. And I took this trip to Columbia. My time there, all that I managed to get was the Black and White Punisher. So on the way back, I did make a little stop, and I brought something else back home along with me. Pop figures are my main focus, but they're not the only thing that I'm willing to purchase. If I see something else I like at a good price, I will pick it up. And in this case, I saw this Ant-Man Wacky Wobbler. And this is probably the first Wacky Wobbler that I've seen that really caught my attention. I don't know, with those figures, to me, they either looked so realistic that it's creepy... Or, I don't know, they, they're just maybe too rigid. Like, I feel that the Deadpool Wacky Wobbler, the body just looks way too rigid. The Harley Quinn figure just has a creepy face and not that cute kind of creepy that we're used to seeing with Harley Quinn. No, just, just creepy, like you don't even really want to stare at it. So, I'm happy with this Ant-Man figure. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know if I'll get any more Wacky Wobblers because, like I said, I'm not the hugest fan of them. But I definitely like this one here. And that was pretty much it as far as what I picked up this weekend. Now, I did do some pre-orders, though, and you'll see the results of that, I believe, possibly either Tuesday or Wednesday. And if you know anything about what's going on with pop figures right now, then you can probably guess what I'm going to be showing you then. Another highlight of my weekend was seeing the Deadpool movie again. You see here that I have my Collector Core Deadpool box. But this box right now is empty. In fact, if you pay attention to the background here, you can see that I have some of the items from the box here, or at least three of them. I got my Mopey there. I got the Leaping Deadpool. And then I had the Dorbs there, all from the Collector Core box. I'm going to do something with this box, and if you really are loyal to my channel and you follow my videos, then you already know what's going to go into this box. But for those of you that aren't in the know, I am going to share it again, what exactly is going to go inside of this box. Okay, first of all, it's a Deadpool box. Got to have Deadpool in there. Now, you notice here in the background, 
I have the Amazon exclusive yellow and blue Deadpool and I have another one so one of these will go in the box also one of my favorite Deadpool enemies even though he may never be featured in the films due to all the different property rights between Marvel and Fox you know being separated but still I'm a huge fan of Taskmaster and I have an extra Taskmaster so he will go in the box it also a comic that came out very recently I haven't bagged and boarded it yet but I will the Deadpool 25th anniversary which is very entertaining it's a pretty funny book and I also like how it shows Deadpool's crew he has a crew of mercs that work along with him and I like how it gives them side stories as well okay so this also will go in the box and then hopefully by now you've all seen the movie so you'll get why I'm doing this a copy of Ferris Bueller's Day Off will also go in the box okay so that is four items that are going to go into this collector core box and I want to be clear about something right now and I know some of you may be a little surprised to hear this but this is not going to be my March giveaway now, I know right away you might be wondering does that mean I'm pushing it back to April no that it's just going to be a separate giveaway I'm still gonna have a giveaway specifically for March which I'll probably talk about tomorrow after I announce the winner of the new subscribers contest okay, I may address that tomorrow because I think I need to talk about the great deal that I got on those figures and yes I said figures plural but we'll, we'll get to that tomorrow but anyway I'm very close to 150 subscribers so I'm setting another goal here and once I hit that 150 then I will go ahead and announce a winner for these figures here obviously you have to be a subscriber and I really want to find somebody who is a loyal subscriber and what I mean by that is I want somebody who doesn't just focus on videos that have the word giveaway in the title and there's nothing wrong with that I know we all like free things but I definitely want to find somebody that is a loyal subscriber and then also somebody that really likes this character and in fact when you comment on this video what I'd like you to tell me is where would you like to see the franchise go now we all know that or if you don't know this just cover your ears for a moment la 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 you know whatever you got to do okay we know that cable is going to be in the sequel but we don't really know how that character is going to be used exactly we don't know what villains are going to be involved so just tell me what would you like to see happen with the Deadpool franchise very simple tell me what you would like to see happen and like I said when I hit 150 I'll announce a winner for this box hopefully that will be soon because I'm only around 30 or so people away from that number so hopefully that will be soon and again on top of commenting I'll, I'm looking for a loyal subscriber that's something that's important to me like I said I know we all like free stuff I'm sure there's some people that just look for videos that say giveaway but I want to find somebody that's into Deadpool they like the character they appreciate the character and also somebody that appreciates my channel so good luck to you all and remember what I always say you support me I support you we support each other talk to you again real soon